haven't seen you in a while. Well, Sam, I've been busy, haven't I? I have responsibilities. You can't give up everything in your life just because you still feel guilty, Adrian. You can't bring him back either, so why do you torture yourself like this? You claim you understand? You don't even have a sibling. I've lost family too. Yeah, yeah, well I can't lose mine. You've already lost him. When I was a kid, Adrian used to take me to the park every Sunday. If I got muddy, I'd get in trouble, so he'd always bring his kite just for me to fly. Stare at the sky for what felt like hours. Just watching that kite. Wishing we were up there with it. Hello? Hey, Annie. How's things? Hi. No, same as usual here. You just home from work? Yeah. Yeah, I got held up, sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, look, you know, you don't need to rush back here. I've got things under control. Thanks, Annie. I don't know what I'd do without you. Okay, so I'm gonna head off home now. You okay here? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, bye. Sam was waiting for me after work today. I would have thought she'd given up on me by now. I don't know. Maybe I should have listened to her. Maybe I should have listened to her a year ago. But if I stimulate the brain stems by injecting acetylcholines, I may be able to reawaken some activity on a small level. Now, I know that doesn't sound like much, but that could save a patient from further brain damage. Like a coma patient, for instance. They could wake up requiring minimal rehabilitation because their nerves are kept busy. Mm, I see. That's amazing. The problem is, there's no money in coma patients. They're just so rare. That could still help people. Not enough. The prototype isn't ready and I couldn't guarantee it'd completely work. I have had interest in similar tech though. From a big entertainment corp, virtual reality and all that crap. Yeah, right. And these gamers need any more of an excuse not to leave the house? <laughs> yep. At least you get it. Sam, she, she doesn't seem to get it. She seems a little freaked out by it all. Speaking of which, um, things okay with you two? I haven't heard from her in a while. It's all right, I guess. Whoa, that, that could be a photograph. You know, with a memory like yours, you could work for NASA or something. Nah, that bore me. I'm happier doing what I am now. Oh, yeah? And what is that? I don't know. I'm just, uh, finding my place. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe you even got to consider that. It's ridiculous. You said you'd never do it. Look. I tried to push the coma tech, but I couldn't get the funding. No one's interested. But it's a bright idea. And this company is really interested, just not in that use. Look, I know it's computer games now, but it's still a step forward. Now, are you even considering the big picture? Are people spending all their time trapped in their own minds? Addicted? Just so you can make a profit? It's pretty cool. Is that proportional? No, 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 I'm not. And no, 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 I created this tech. I'll choose how to use it. When I sell, then maybe I can help some people. Yeah, right. But you don't even care about that anymore, do you? You just want the fame. And you're nothing but a fucking sellout. I never look when crossing the road. Adrian would always grab me at the last second. I get so annoyed. Saying I should be more careful. I'd get myself killed if I wasn't more careful. <laughs> Just laugh and say something like, Thanks, Mom. It's ridiculous how protective he was.
Adrian, are you okay there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Is it nine already? Another late night. Yeah, I just must have dozed off, that's all. Well, look, I was going to change the IV, but do you want me to put the kettle on for you first? Nah, that's fine. I'll do it. This isn't right. Nothing strange. There's nothing here except me and my memory. Everything I've seen, heard, smelled, every choice I ever made, every single thing I ever felt, it's, it's everywhere around me. There should be a clear line between life and death, but I'm caught in a rift. If I can't have my life back, I'm not afraid to move on. This is no substitute. Maybe for others, but not for me. I, I can't be trapped in the past. I need to look forward. Look, I'm not afraid. I live my life knowing every day could be last. Good to see you again. Sorry I haven't been here for a while. I brought you these. Just because you're stuck in this room doesn't mean you should have to put up with those god-awful flowers. I don't know how you can act so casual, Sam. Huh? How long do you really think you can keep this up, Adrian? I don't know. I didn't really plan this far ahead. You wouldn't have wanted this. I know that, but... I just don't know what to do anymore. Well, you have to do something. I mean, the effect this is having on you, on us. Sam, it's not that easy. I can't just turn around and... Jamie made the most of his life. You know that. He knew he wouldn't be around forever. But what you're doing, keeping him trapped in that shadow of an existence, giving up everything to keep him there? You don't think I know this is selfish of me? That it's wrong? I know you know, and I know Annie thinks the same thing too. If you know, then why are you doing this to yourself? Because I'm weak, that's why. He's, fuck. He's all I have left. This is your choice. I can't make it for you. But sooner or later, whether you choose to or not, you will have to let him go. When that happens, I'll be here for you. 